and what is going on YouTube? Just another game channel bringing you just another video. So guys, I've um, got a really cool set now uh, for the uh, first of the Lost Armour. I don't think it'd be this cool, but it's really cool for the uh, for the Hunter. Um, it's a Skerrin Corvus set. I mean, how cool does that look, seriously? Right, let's, let's get in there and put that helmet real quick. And that is cool looking, seriously. It's so cool. Anyway, um, unfortunately they're all level 10, so that's going to be a problem for me. But uh, that, is a, that is a cool looking set. There's so many, like, I want to upgrade the Dragon Regali set. I want to keep the Reverie Dawn set as high as possible for when I, because the Dream set is a place I'm there a lot, and, you know, that extra damage would be cool. But anyway, let's have a look. Growth in the field is achieved by outwitting the enemy. Okay, so we're talking uh, just more common sense, kind of guardian stoic information. Uh, this is an intrinsic mobility set, so higher mobility is going to be low on the other things, unfortunately. We've got um, health recovery and resilience. We've got pulse rifle targeting and heavy lifting, that's gain bonus super energy from power weapons. We've got linear fusion rifle reserves and sword reserves. But yeah, that helmet looks really cool. It's like a. It kind of reminds me of the first Hellboy, you know that 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 German assassin who's made out with sand in his, you know, it's kind of similar to that. It's like two separate eye masks. You've got like the, a, a mouth filter. It's like a gas mask with the filters on the side as well. It looks really cool. Um, cat's trying to climb up my chair, and I think she's got a claw stuck in my uh, in my chair. Oh dear, some learns. All right, let's have a look at the arms. It's a pretty straightforward set, this. Um, so, the defender holds you up to distract. Okay. Mobility and um, resilience. Monumental transfer, causing damage with the grenade reduces your melee cooldown. And impact induction, causing damage with melee attack reduces your grenade cooldown. We've got sniper for scavenger, so bonus ammo, and special ammo, ammo finder. So the arm itself, um, again, a pretty simple design. I like the, uh, the three cables that come from under the shoulder pad armor uh, onto the wrist. I wonder if they're like a control system. That'd be kind of cool. But I love like the rough and, and like ragged um, look. It looks like a scarecrow basically, doesn't it? With a with a hood that, over the helmet, the way the hood is, and the the rough nature. It's like tanned leather that's like all torn and scratched out. You've got material coming from under the metal plating of the armour itself, like a frayed leather, like a tanned leather. Um, symmetrical arms, you know, like asymmetrical stuff. Um, yeah, you've even got armour plating on the inside of the arms there, that's pretty interesting. Coming down on the inside. Huh, interesting. So it's not going to be that long a video as my normal ones, because this is such a simple design. So I know this this design. This is now this actual chest plate. Now is this the this is one of the Vanguard chest plates that they've redesigned, I think. So you can peck, but you will not yield. That's the bit of law there. Uh, again, we've got um, resilience and health recovery, um, unflinching power aim, and unflinching sniper aim. Auto rifle reserves and special ammo finder. So the chest piece, it's got like that. It's like that chameleon metal that's like you know, it's got more. It's like loads of different colours. It's like it's through a uh, multiple rainbows. Like it's going blue. Well, there's purple, blue, green, all sorts of colours overlapping and mixing as, as the light hits it. So that's pretty interesting. It's got, it looks like it's got a couple of bullet holes. Maybe I don't know. There's loads of cracks and like, it looks like it's been through some some war torn times. Um, although simple, pretty cool. I, I don't know how I feel about the yellow and orange. Um, it's pretty interesting. Um, I can't, I'm a bit interested to see what it's like when we apply the shaders. So, standing strong as a great protector of this land. Mobility and resilience. Linear fusion rifle dexterity. Shotgun dexterity. Auto rifle scavenger and bow scavenger. Now, the boots are pretty simple. It's a pair of boots with some knee pad armors made out of the same material as the um, chest plate. We've got a utility belt, multiple uh, pouches, and then you've just got like kind of normal material trousers in this yellow and orange. Uh, not sure how I feel about that. It's not the best colours, but still, looks pretty cool. Um, 
And then we get onto the, the cloak. Only the finest of threads are worn for the harvest. Yeah, so, you know, the scare man harvests, you know, that sort of thing. <laughs> it's got innovation, which reduces cooldown each time you pick up an org. And reduce, it's got invigoration, reduces melee cooldown each time you pick up an org. Submachine gun reserves or pulse rifle scavenger. Uh, and the cloak itself, you know, like it's all, again, it looks like some type of leather. It's all fraying and torn at the bottom. It's got the same pattern on there, as you can see, as the... The design throughout the legs and the entire suit. Um, if we go back to the cloak, top of the cloak, you can see I think it looks fantastic the way it's um, all frayed and stuff there. I think that looks really, really good. Um, so this will be definitely one that I'm looking to upgrade as, as, as long uh, as uh, along with the Prodigal set, the River of Dawn, keep that going, and the Wing Contender. I've got Finar. I want to uh, get that set up there. Um, so let's go. Let's have one more quick look, and then we'll go. I mean, ten mobility. Then no recovery. Like right, yeah, you got to go through all your settings and change that. As as a standard set, this is ten mobility, three resilience, zero recovery. So that is. Whew, I mean, your resilience is low enough. It's going to be brutal and crucible if you had it set up like this. Although, although the A, if you're aiming down sight, you could be pretty swift. I don't feel the differences that much, to be honest. I never really noticed the differences. Unless I'm fighting someone who's a titan, then you can kind of feel it. But well, let's get down to the colours, shall we? And see what's what. Alright, straight to the monochromatic, guys. You know the drill. One of my favourite art uh, shaders. Um, not as good. Okay, so as you can see, it's got rid of the, uh, the dark orange, left the yellow, and everything else is white. No, it doesn't, Wanna take a look doesn't do it for me. I've got a feeling the original set might be... The original colours might might be more suitable. So I've got the Genotype Null Zero. Very similar to its original colours. Again, it's got rid of the orange, which I'm surprised because there's there's orange in that shader. Uh, it's like giving it that carbon fibre grey look. It's pretty interesting. Deep orange metallic mask. It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Uh, so look at one of the new Dead Orbit ones, the Dead Orbit Vision from last time. Mixes in greens and and sorts of things. It looks like that yellow stain no matter what, doesn't it guys? Well let's see what it's like with a full dead orbit. Just blacks and greys and whites. Yeah, that's okay. It keeps the yellow. Alright, that's interesting. Man, I've got no mass of cause. Oh, I wish you could trade them. Tangled Rust, let's have a look. So this is off the Tangled Shore. That's, that that looks. I'm not that big of a fan, but I can see why someone might appreciate that. Cause it looks. It matches the design of the armor, all rough and gritty. Yeah, but like yellow, man. Ooh, that yellow. Gift of the night. Let's have a look at gift of the night. Oh, white again. It's just too much for the eyes, I think. It's too damn bright. Gift of the yellow. Um, about iron wolf. Let's have a look at some iron banner. All silver. I do like the silver armor. You know me, guys. Um, you know me. Uh, so look at Ironwood. That looks cool. Yeah. Still, I mean, the the green I think helps with the yellow, but that yellow for me is like probably the most off-putting thing in this in this armor set. Um, well, let's look at Arctic. Let's look at Brotex Arctic Dreamscape. Oh no, 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 no. It just doesn't work. It doesn't work because of the yellow. So speaking of yellows, that's what I wanted to get a bright orange cruiser. Whoa, that is brutal. Holy shit, that is brutal. That is so gross. God dear me. Dear me. Vanguard Unity, this should be deep blues and oranges, depending on which way they... That's pretty cool. I mean, that deep orange at least works with the yellow. And then, I don't... I, I wish the cloak was... If the cloak was orange, it'd be too much. But I wish, like, maybe the, I don't know, maybe the midrift, I can't believe I'm saying this, but the midrift and the legs will be blue, keep the kneecaps orange and the cloak blue, so there's something to offset it with. Um, but yeah, there we go, guys. That's, uh, again, short and usual, because it's just a simple design. There's not much consideration about the law, because it's just basically, you can do it, you know, kind of mentality. That's a pretty cool... That is a pretty cool goddamn uh, armor set. So guys, thanks so much for watching. I appreciate it. Feel free to subscribe, hit the like button and share it. 
Um, I am looking for Nightfall people and I'm always looking for permanent Gambit teams. So if anyone plays Gambit a lot, I'd like to start playing, but I'd like people that communicate and play as a team. So if anyone's interested, send me a message, hit me up. Uh, and I'd like people for some of the, the higher end uh, stuff in the Dream City. So the uh, Ascendant challenges and things like that. Okay guys, you guys are awesome. Thanks for watching. I'll see you all on the next one. So cheers.